Hello my dudes, welcome back to the second channel. Today's video is a little bit different. Nathan and I thought it would be fun to try a virtual online escape room because I've been very into escape rooms and games lately. I just wanna solve puzzles. And um, initially I was gonna try this as a Patreon live stream, which I actually might do because I think that would be a fun activity. I, I found this random online escape room. I paid for it. Uh, and then it told me to have players on separate devices in separate areas so that, well, actually, I don't know why they made us do that. We could have been sitting together the whole time. You're supposed to kind of work separately so that it's more difficult and then you only can communicate your clues and ideas to the other person. Anyway, I think this ended up taking us over an hour, but luckily we were able to edit it down to 12 or so minutes because... I swear all the empty time was just us going. So you didn't miss much. I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know if we should do more stuff like this. And by the way, obviously spoiler alert for this escape room. If you for some reason want to do this exact escape room, don't watch this because we'll, we'll be solving it right before your eyes. We're very, very good. <laughs> Spoiler, we escaped. Well, it's not really a room, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Agents, we need your help. Hexcorp has been sabotaged. At the end of the workday today, our weapons control system was hacked. Someone successfully breached our systems and was able to download critical code. As I'm sure you know, Hexcorp developed weapons of mass destruction for our government. I'm not and if fan. this information were to leak, <laughs> no, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> that could mean disaster for us all. We've done a thorough search, but we haven't found anyone except our own staff working on the project. I fear one of them is a spy. We can't detain them forever, and if the spy is allowed to walk free, I fear they may share what they have learned with those who would wish us great harm. Honestly, the spy is right. It is your job to investigate and uncover this spy. We can't risk control over these weapons falling into the wrong hands. What, the like the United States government? And Hexcorp are counting on you. Welcome to Hexcorp HQ. During your investigation, you will need to visit the offices of the six Hexcorp employees that are currently under suspicion. Everyone has something to hide. It's time to search and solve to save the day. Once you've completed your investigation and interviewed all six subjects, shit, suspects, <laughs> click here to make your final deduction. We have James, head engineer, Robert, general manager, Ben, head of security, Charlotte, chemical specialist, Samantha, senior software developer, I can't read, Kathy, operations director. Love that almost everyone's white because it was going to be awkward if the whole suspect list was like, I didn't finish my sentence, but I meant to say it would be bad if all the suspects were people of color, for obvious reasons. <sighs> anyway. Robert also looks like he slays. Robert absolutely slays. General manager, are you kidding me? Okay, so I guess let's visit the office of James. Head engineer. He's a rocket guy. Rocket. Answer, four letters. Oh, I was like, where are you getting this from? <laughs> Never mind. There's a puzzle, okay. Unlock the laptop, answer four letters. Warhead, fuel tanks, Control veins, thrusters. Uh-huh. Would it be really stupid? Okay, it's not A, B, C, D. <laughs> Had to try it. Do those four rockets make up the one rocket on the screen? D, B, C, A, I think. D, B, C, A. Did it? It worked? Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I got that too. James's computer. USB override. Visual evidence. He's, he was looking at something suspicious. Image on PC revealed info on USB override. Interview with James now. I have detailed plans of the control system. It's true. But that's an essential part of my job. No one should be able to access those except me, which I guess doesn't look too good for me. But someone else could have gained access to my plans. Maybe when I was at lunch. I took my lunch at 12.30 for half an hour. They could have snuck into my workstation then. Okay, so he had lunch from 12.30 to 1. Keep note of that. We're supposed to write things down. James had lunch from 12.30 to 1 p.m. 
All right, I guess that's it for James. On to the next. Error, password required. Oh no. <laughs> I thought it was parentheses, fucking percent. Oh, I clicked on something. <gasps> oh, now I'm just getting an image of this keyboard. I'm clicking on every key. Unlock the laptop, six digits. All we know is Robert. I swear if his password is Robert, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I wanted it to be. <laughs> I was trying the numbers that co correspond to the characters and that didn't work. So what, you did nine for the dash? Yeah. You did nine, five, six. Nine, five, one. eight, six, one, one. zero. zero. No, it works for some reason now. Because you entered it wrong. No, I did it right the first time. I'm literally <laughs> angry right now. Okay, so now we have Robert's computer. Workstation, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like a hex. You can click on the little picture in the corner and it says, ooh, okay, we got it. Seating assignment. David requested that he wanted the staff workstations to be moved. I've got to find the most optimal way to have a great office. Is he writing this note to himself? The guys all argue about their sports teams when they get together, but I'm not like other guys. So to avoid this distraction, make sure no guy is next to another guy. Are we gonna have to build this? This is exciting. I like morning light and wanna have a window as close as possible to the east side. Love it, respect the sunlight. Kathy and James are always flirting. Keep them far away from one another so they can focus on work. I often have technical issues, so our codemaster Samantha should be near me in case I have a problem. Ben is constantly falling asleep when it gets dark, so keep him away from northern rooms which have no natural light. This is very considerate. Now his interview. You ready for it? Well, of course I have notes on everyone in the structure of the control panel workstation. The general manager. Feel free to examine any of my notes for whatever you need. Though. That's so not his voice. No. I'm pissed. Gary Oldman. That's what it looks like. Mm. Um, so Robert, what did this reveal? Feel free to examine any of my notes for whatever you need though. Okay, interesting. Now back to HQ. Ben, head of security. His office oh. looks shitty. Eight digits. Eight digits. Eight digits. Eight digits. Eight digits. This is an Ikea as hell office. Um, obviously we've got a lot of numbers here. <laughs> That's all I know. It's not Samantha. Eight digits. <laughs> uh, it has to be uh, here in this thing. It has to be in, in the hint. Oh. It has yeah. to be. Rocket propulsions, a success today. Overall, except the last missile test, which only made it to the top of the truss, truss, truss That one was a complete disaster. Disaster, no. Boss had a long word. Long, oh, Boss had a long word with James about that one. Boss had a long word with James about that one. Mm -hmm. A long word. That's interesting. I tried long word. You are the um, the tip guy. We want to use a clue. I don't like using clues, but we gotta sit here all day. In the order of launching, what value are they? There are four launches giving you eight digits. Oh, kilometers. Top of the stratosphere is 50. That's for sure. The second one got out of the ozone layer, which must be 30. And then the other one broke the base of the thermosphere. So 800? But if it's 800, no, it broke the base of the thermosphere. Yes, 85. So 85, which I have written down. And the other one, Top of the stratosphere. 50, 30, 85, 12. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. 
That was so annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't think I ever would have gotten that. Um, Ben's cabinet. Staff ID file. Ben, Robert, James, Kathy, Samantha, Charlotte. Staff fingerprints. Charlotte Smith, chemical specialist. Let's go. Charlotte, chemicals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then she's got a cute little notebook. Ideal reactor chemical. Must contain a number of different linked elements while making sure not to include linked elements that would neutralize the power of the chemical. I love this. Linked elements may be rotated or can exist simultaneously alongside other chemicals. One element may contribute to multiple linked elements. Oh my god. I gotta write this down with the actual paper. Okay. Ideal reactor chemical. We're looking for 10 digits. I'm gonna use a clue. I think I got it, but I don't know how to enter it. What do you mean you don't know how to enter it? I don't know how to enter the 10 characters. Well, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you put in one, whatever that letter is. Yeah, but there's 10. Yeah, but there's two words in some of them. Like there's F-E. Let's try it. H-F-E. H-O-F-E. V-P-P. I'll call it. Yes, bitch. But I did have to use hints. Oh. Charlotte's PC, James DeLeo from Charlotte. Hi there. I would appreciate it if I could change my break today. It's supposed to be at 12, but I need to take it at 1230. That's suspicious. Charlotte. Because 1230 was when all the sneaky shit happened. Okay, so Charlotte's up to something. She's very sneaky, but she said, I'll talk to you about it later. So I feel like Charlotte and James are in on it. Back to HQ. Let's go to Samantha our senior software developer. Mm, she's got some weird shit going on. I am the master code breaker. Four letters. I might have it. <gasps> I got it. Thank you very much. Kathy, hello. Access denied. And there's a briefcase and we need four digits. Red, blue, green, purple. Oh, Robert is purple green. James is six blues. Ben is three purple, one blue. Charlotte has one purple, one blue, two greens. Samantha has one red, two greens, two purples. And then just Kathy, old Kathy, one red. So that equals Incredible, incredible work. Inside the briefcase. <gasps> they showed these in security guards. Yes. Fingerprint evidence, flash drive. Who had the this? flash drive and whose fingerprints? Here's the fingerprints. I think it's multiple people's. Charlotte, Robert, Kathy, Ben. And whose <clears throat> flash drive is this? Very specific. Suspicious. Sus suspicious. That's the worst I've ever done. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't turn the device I found sooner, really. When I saw it in the control panel, I knew it didn't belong there and wanted to take a look to see what it was. So she might be innocent, who knows. These are like circle profiles. <laughs> Message, <laughs> Kathy. I'm Kathy. So now we go back. And now that we know everything, click here to make your final deduction. Check your notes, talk to your teammates, and eliminate suspects one by one. Charlotte says she only touched the drive because she had to. Who had the flash drive? Uh, James. James. But his fingerprints aren't on it. James said that he had lunch from, t go back to his interview. 12.30 for half an hour. Charlotte changed her usual lunch from 12 to 12.30, so that's suspicious. I feel like it's Charlotte. Yeah, let's just fucking do it. This has been absolute torture. <laughs> There's been zero pleasure in this. Ooh, okay. Well, <laughs> it's... The world's greatest detectives. Love that almost everyone's white, because it was going to be awkward if the whole suspect list was like... It says our deduction skills are remarkable. They never tell us why Charlotte would steal this. Maybe she was trying to get do good, now she's gonna go to Guantanamo Bay. Hi, thank you for watching us struggle. Thank you for the tips 
And shouts out to Hex Corp, I guess. Okay, thanks. Bye! Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more things like it, um, either join us on Patreon if we're going to be doing more of these uh, escape room live streams or something. You can help us because I was imagining if people were doing it with us, they could yell at us and be like, hey, stupid, it's right there. The clue is obvious to help us solve the puzzles sooner and stay tuned for more videos we are um trying to do vlogmas this month which i haven't done in years and we'll see how successful i am in posting more on this channel this month but it should be fun lots of wacky random content uh, stay tuned